here's one of the great mysteries, right? The great mystery is when you do everything right, why don't people buy? Right? So you execute perfectly, right? So you execute perfectly and you get them to raise their hands, right? They express interest, they're qualified, they need what you got, they want what you got. You've done everything right. Maybe they camped out at your site, they came to your showroom, they called, they responded, however it is they were supposed to respond, and they still haven't bought. Now, surprisingly, that doesn't bother as many people as it should. So I, I worked with a client a couple of years ago for two years. They're exactly in that position. So qualified prospects, good execution. The prospect has to raise their hand. The prospect has sent information. The prospect has to respond again from that information. They have to make an appointment. They have to then get in their car, come into an office. They have to go through a diagnostic process. And then finally, they are permitted to buy something. They've been invested now for between review of the information and time at the office, maybe up to four hours. And they're selling to two out of 10, three out of 10, four out of 10, maybe at best. And when the question is asked, well, under those circumstances, why aren't you selling to, any, to, to all of them? The, the answer is, well, our closing percentage is better than our competitor. Well, you know, great, so you're the taller of the two midgets, but, the, but the, <laughs> you know. But, but, I mean, really, a lot of people don't, aren't as frustrated by this in their businesses as I actually think they should be. So they sort of accept an outcome after a whole marketing, well, starting with advertising, advertising, marketing, and sales process that still leaves fewer people buying than logic says after everything you've done and everything they've done should happen. After all, if you're in a restaurant business, pretty much everybody who goes to the trouble of responding to your advertising, getting in their car, and coming to your restaurant Pretty much 100% of them order something and eat it. I mean, it's not like two out of 10 order something and eat, and the other eight come, sit there, read the menu, get up, leave, don't do anything. So why does that happen in other businesses? There is a reason. And if you really understand and apply yourself to dealing with the reason, and there is a reason, then you can substantially improve the results of every other dollar you spend and every other minute you spend.